Hi everybody, I'm with Heather and welcome to the video. So today I am starting a new challenge. Or well, by the time you guys see this, I will have already started a new challenge because my friends, it is Lent. And what do we do when it's Lent? Of course, we give stuff up. And I have chosen in all my wisdom this year to give up chocolate. Now this might be a little bit challenging because I have a cupboard full of chocolate currently. So yeah, it's this temptation everywhere. Which means for the next 44 days, I will not be able to eat these after eight mints. They're very nice. American viewers, I don't know if you have these in the States, so they're kind of like junior mints, but square and like thin. It also means I can't have any of these matchmaker mint flavour. Can you tell them I like mint chocolate? These, these are really, really nice. They're like kind of sticks with just minty flavour and they're just, oh, they're beautiful. It also means I cannot have any of this green and wax. Beautiful, 85% cocoa dark chocolate. I cannot have any of this Marks and Spencers, 100% cocoa dark chocolate. I've not tried this before. I didn't know there was anywhere that did a 100% cocoa bar. So I'm so intrigued to try this one. And I have to wait, wait. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I also have this posh chocolate. <laughs> I also have this posh chocolate from a place called Hotel Chocolat. This stuff was reduced in uh, the January sale. It was supposed to be eight pounds for this thing. I mean, it's, it's only like 200 grams of chocolate. It was half price to four, which is why I brought it because yeah, half price expensive chocolate makes sense. Also has like a cute snowman, so you, could, you know, win-win. I cannot eat this either. Oh, why? Why do I do these crazy things? Why do I think of all these challenges that I can do and then think, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, why do I do it? So anyway, that is what I will be doing for the next 44 days. I will post weekly updates to let you all know how I'm getting on and how much I'm suffering. <laughs> probably so yeah stay tuned for that catch you all later bye you realize you can't have my chocolate right cat you can't you can't because chocolate is bad for cats and i'm not losing my chocolate and having to pay for vet bills when you overdose on fibromine. <laughs>